Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Self-Publishing Help. I'm going to be starting a series on turning your paperback book into an ebook. So I'm starting with a paperback book that I published some time ago, and I'm going to take this and show you how I turn it into an ebook. Now, typically when I write a book, I want both an ebook format and a paper book format. It just um, why not? You can appeal to twice as many readers. So uh, what I always do is start with the paperback because it's very easy to go from your paperback format to an ebook format. And that's what I'll be showing you in today's video. And then we'll have some more videos on some of the fine tuning for your ebook. But today, here's how to take your paperback and turn it into a basic ebook format. So I've got my page preview up for the book so that you can see how it's um, just formatted like any paperback. You've got some blank pages uh, so that your first page falls on the right page. And um, got some headers and a footer with the page number. So these are the kinds of things that we're going to want to get rid of for our ebook formatting because those won't transfer across. So I'm going to close my preview and we'll go back into the uh, working copy. So one thing I'm going to want to be aware of is my fonts. Uh, I have some specialized fonts. I like to use some fun fonts and not all fonts transfer well into like a Kindle ebook reader or um, any of the ebook readers. So I'm probably going to want to change my fonts into just a basic uh, a least a more basic font. This one's probably okay. I've got that as Georgia. Maybe I'll change everything to Georgia here. Because sometimes you get some surprises when you um, use a font that... Uh, whoops, missed one letter. It looks it can look quite different in your ebook reader. But Georgia looks pretty safe. Um, I'm going to want to get rid of a lot of spacing. I don't want a lot of extra spaces because those can show up as entire blank pages on your ebook reader, saying the pages are so much smaller. Let's take this one to Georgia. And I'll just get rid of some of this spacing. So there's my title page. Maybe I'll also just downsize a little bit. That's quite a large font. You don't want it to be huge on the ebook reader. It can um, space it kind of in strange ways. How about 24? There, so it's still quite a nice looking title page for an ebook. And there's no extra spa extra spaces or pages there. So there's my copyright page. And there's no blank page in between because the copyright page is usually on the back side of the title page. I'm going to skip the table of contents for now because that's uh, going to be a separate video that gets a little more complicated. Here's a blank page after my table of contents. Like, let's get rid of that blank page. We really don't want blank pages on our ebooks. So now it goes right from table of contents into the intro. And again, I'll change this font. Now you can see that in my opening pages, before I get into the body of my book, down here, you can see that my formatting, I've called it nothing. And what that means is I set the formatting to be just very blank. There's no um, there's no bells and whistles on this formatting, and I called it nothing. Uh, if you've watched some of my earlier videos, you'll um, know how to set the formatting for your pages. And so what we want with an ebook is just very blank formatting. So I'll show you a very easy way to go into that. So here's another blank page. Get rid of that. Another blank page. Okay. Let's just go back to our page preview. 
and make sure that I've got all my blank pages gone in my opening pages and just see how things are looking. Looks good so far. That's how I want it to look. Okay, now we're ready to get into the body of the book here and get rid of all the extra formatting. So now you can see that instead of nothing, the formatting here at the bottom, it tells me it's chapter opener. And I set up my chapter opener page to always be on the right hand side. And if I scroll down, you can watch the uh, formatting change to left page. So I'm going to want to get rid of all of that. And there's going to be a very simple way to do it. Here, I'll just um, change this to Georgia. Keep my fonts consistent. Now I'm ready to get rid of the fancy formatting. And I'm going to do that by just simply backspacing all the way up to the last page where the formatting was nothing. So there's no page numbers, there's no footers or headers, there's um, no um, uh, the setup with chapter opener, left page, right page, left page, right page, the way I would want with a paperback. Now when I hit Control Enter, and that's for the start of a, a brand new page that will make a page break for you. So Control Enter at the same time. And now if you look down at the bottom of the page, you can see the formatting has changed from chapter opener to nothing. And now when I scroll down, it continues being nothing. Because when I did my paperback, I set up a manual break. And then I switched from nothing to chapter opener. So all I did was get rid of that manual break by backspacing and nothing will always be followed by nothing unless I've set up a manual break and told it otherwise. So to keep scrolling down to the end of the chapter, this would be the formatting that I want for the ebook, just completely clean and simple. And nothing fancy, because that won't show up with your ebook anyways. But it can, uh, it can mess up the, the um, style of your book. So, I would just repeat the process for every single chapter in the book. So I would just go through. I would get rid of all blank pages. You don't want blank pages in your ebook. Change the font to a font that's going to be readable in the uh, ebook reader. And then I'm going to backspace. See again here it's set to chapter opener. I'll keep backspacing until I hit my the page there. And now it's set to nothing. When I hit control enter. And I've got it justified there, probably don't want it justified for the uh, title of the chapter. Let's go with the middle. And there, that chapter is ready to go. So again, I would just repeat that process for every single chapter, getting rid of the blank pages, any extra spaces, uh, graphics, and the um, the formatting for the body of the book. And I would just go with the very blank basic formatting that contains nothing extra. And when I finished all my chapters, the book would be ready to be turned into an ebook. And then I can show you what I how I would give it an, a table of contents. And that will be next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.